you hear terriers, tough, this belongs in that. Or we got 100% effort, nothing else. I started playing basketball my junior year of high school. If you came to me and said that I would be a terrier my junior year, I would, I would look at you like you was crazy. You know, I wouldn't even expect that. My grandmother, well, she raised me since I was about five months. She took me out of foster home so I wouldn't be adopted. And she just meant the world to me. On the court, my grandmother, like I said, she didn't really like do anything for me on the court because I started playing late. But I got through all these years to get to the basketball life because of her. Like, you know, off the court, she's telling me the rights, the wrongs. So she just had a big influence on my life by just making sure I become a man and making sure I was attending school. Her thing was stay out the projects. Me, I used to still go to the projects. Uh, well, when she put her foot down, I wasn't really living with her no more. I was living back with my mother, but I was still kind of a knucklehead. So just that one time she said, uh, you're not gonna be able to be a knucklehead forever. So one day you're gonna have to take something serious because there's nothing in the streets for you. That was always her favorite line to me. There's nothing in the streets for you. Well, originally when I started playing basketball, I didn't take it seriously, like it wasn't. But as the years go on, I played AAU and with Long Island Lightning. That's when I started taking it more serious because I started getting college interested. She was very happy about that because that's what she'd been pushing me to do all my life, like just to stay away from the streets. So when she knew I was into basketball, she was happy about that. My whole family was happy about that because it was just something different. Nobody would never thought I would want to play basketball because it wasn't in me. Uh, basketball helped me basically get my grades back on track, you know, get me a free education. I'm in college, you know, so I wouldn't think I would be in college if it wasn't for basketball. Like you said, like, I wouldn't be traveling or anything if it wasn't for basketball. I wouldn't have been half of the places I've been if it wasn't for basketball, so. It just took me a lot of places. It led me in the right direction. It kept me out of trouble. And I met a lot of good people. So that's what basketball has done for me. I look back at it a lot. You know, like I go through old photos. I go through old articles just to reminisce. Cause like I said, I wouldn't think I would be here. So, but dreams do come true, you know? So I just thank God every day for it. Uh, with my grandmother passing away, it was really heartbreaking, you know, but at that time we was like just getting rolling with practice and stuff, so I really couldn't let it affect me. Coach told me to take some days off and stuff, but I just couldn't. Playing basketball took my mind off it pretty much, but it still is a sad moment to this day. I think about it every day. I read all the cards that were sent to me. It's like, that was my lady right there, you know, so. I'm always thinking about her when she, when I'm on the court or like when I think about giving up or anything like that because that's never was her motive of giving up. It was always push, strive, do better, you know. So I, she's going to play a part as me keep on pushing and not giving up.